Hello YouTube, welcome to video number 8 in our introduction to game development using a Python uh, Pygame uh, module uh, library, okay, series, okay. So in this story, we're going to go ahead and learn how to add multiple enemies into our game because right now we just have a single enemy and we, uh, we t whenever we shoot a bullet at the enemy, the enemy simply responds in a new location. So how do we make sure that we have multiple enemies? Let's say that we want to keep five different uh, alien crafts moving on the screen at the same time. So how do we go ahead and implement such that we have multiple enemies on our screen? And uh, yeah, that's what, that's what basically I want to uh, go ahead and implement in this uh, video. So let's get uh, ahead to it. And again, if you're new to the channel, please kindly consider subscribing to the YouTube channel if you haven't already subscribed. So this channel is just mostly for Python developers and also programming programming uh, dev uh, programming in general. So if you're a JavaScript developer, uh, building web applications, backend applications, if you are uh, any uh, any developer uh, interested in programming, then cons please kindly consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. We go over building different projects uh, uh, in this uh, on this channel okay so uh, thanks for uh, subscribing I consume uh, I assume okay so once we have that uh, let's go actually jump ahead and go uh, into my VS code so I have my VS code open up and last time we ended up at creating uh, uh, creating the ability to shoot down the enemy so if I go ahead we can shoot down the uh, you can shoot the enemy but the enemy simply responds in a new location right the enemy doesn't uh, doesn't uh the enemy simply responds to a new location and we get points count right here okay so what i want to go ahead and do now is to actually make sure that we are able to have multiple enemies instead of just one enemy so to do this uh, uh, you can easily guess you're going to be using a follow to to make sure we have multiple uh enemies okay to do that i'm just going to go in here and create a follow place so i'm going to say for i in for i in mm, in range and you're going to have a variable called number of enemies which is going to have the total number of enemies that you want in our game so i'm going to go down here up here and sorry i'm going to say number underscore of underscore enemies so number of enemies you can say let's say i want four enemies at the time on the screen so i'm going to simply copy this and simply for our uh, eye in range on number of enemies right you're going to go ahead and have four enemies okay so once i have that right there what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and simply say enemy uh, enemy uh, underscore img right we're going to now say dot append so now we're going to you're using this append method and this append method is used on a list so i'm going to go down up here simply copy this out i'm going to copy it and then simply put in a list so i'm going to convert this into a list instead and then what you're going to be adding in there you're going to be adding the asset that i just copied so i copied the the, the corner that i copied from here i pasted it inside of this append method I mean you're going to add the image the the player image inside of this list okay and you're going to go ahead and repeat that for all the other ones that we have so i'm going to say enemy x i'm going to go down here and say enemy uh under enemy x and this is going to be enemy x is going to so say dot append and then you're going to go uh, append something so you're going to go ahead and simply copy this cut it from right here i'm going to hit control and x and then make this uh, make sure that now it's a list and i'm going to uh, paste what i have cut uh, cut from there and i'm also going to repeat the same thing for y so i'm going to say enemy uh, uh y and this is going to be enemy y sorry it's going to be dot append and then simply go ahead and simply copy this from here so cut it out so control uh, x on my keyboard and then make sure that's a list and then go ahead and paste the content that you copied right in here and then also for the um, uh, change in uh, uh, change in uh, enemy x which is right here we're going through the same so i'm going to copy the cut it from here make it a list and i'm going to go down and say uh, change in uh, enemy uh, change underscore in uh, sorry enemy uh what did i call it i said uh, change in enemy exposition uh sorry no yeah change in enemy exposition which is right here and i'm going to make it dot append and i'm going to go ahead and append what i have just copied which is 0 0.4 so that's basically it, how, how you're going to have multiple enemies so now that you have spawned multiple enemies now we need to go into our while loop where our game is uh, continuously running because this is at the, at the beginning of the game where we, where we spawn all four enemies okay so once we have four enemies created now i'm going to go down here uh just here this way we're going to go ahead and display the enemies set the boundaries and all of that now this is going to be in a for loop right so i'm going to go ahead and simply put this inside now of a for loop so i'm going to say for i in uh range right and the range is going to be number of uh, enemies okay and then uh, do this uh, make sure i put that uh column there so i'm going to go ahead and indent all of this so now uh this is going to now be changing into a list instead so i'm going to be using a list operation so i'm going to change this to be i uh change here to be uh i and then i'm going to go here and change this to be uh i just add i there because right now it's a list so i'm going to go ahead and say i as well and here i'm going to go ahead and say uh, i 
and then here we're also going to go ahead and say uh, i index i okay so that's basically what you're going, uh, we need to do uh, right there so uh yes we also that's uh, basically what we need to do uh, okay so once we have that mm, yeah that's all and i can also say enemy change in uh, position let me see uh enemy change in uh enemy change in enemy i uh let me see what we else we need to do here changing uh, let me just actually run the game to see if everything uh let me just read the code one more time to make sure that everything works before we move on okay so change in enemy exposition which is this enemy right here we're going to say uh, enemy movements so now we're not getting enemy you're getting enemy of i so i'm going to simply go ahead and simply copy all of this so i'm just going to cut it and simply move it inside of this folder. so yeah that's what i wanted to do so because now we don't have enemy x anymore we have the enemy x list which you're going to access the i index and then simply do this right here and now any position you're going to also go ahead and access the i index okay because now this is a list so that's basically what we need to implement uh, right there so that's what i was looking for and uh, yeah so now we're going to be dealing with uh the list instead of rather than the enemy object right so the the enemy object itself right now we're going to be dealing with the list instead so now once we have that let me just go ahead and simply run this again so we have an error right here so let me just see it says that um uh if collision detection this okay let me just see maybe we need to change our code somewhere else okay so we need to actually go ahead and change our code here so this is going to go ahead and uh, we also need to go ahead and in, uh, indent this as well so i go i need to go ahead and simply indent this as well and now this is going to be changing into uh, enemy i because it's now it's a list right then not the the enemy object is also going to say i right there. yeah that's basically what we uh need to do and let me see if i got everything right so we increment this and also for the enemy uh the enemy part here i also need to go ahead and get this right here so i'm going to go and go ahead, cut this off and i'm going to go in here and simply paste it right here and then make sure that i have that uh, tab there and now this is going to be the enemy uh i and then so here is going to be the enemy uh, i index okay so let me just see yeah that's basically what we need to do right there we have only one player so this one can remain right so that's basically uh what we need to do uh right there so make sure that this is outside of the of this if statement and is on the main line with uh if the same indentation as the if statement above here okay so that, that's basically what we need to do and let me just fix this uh yeah that's what we need to do and hopefully we don't have any more error so we have another n more error it says that um argument one must be a numpy surface not a list okay so so the reason why we are getting this error is because we are still using the enemy list right here so you're it, it not supposed to pass in a list you're supposed to pass in a pi uh pi pi game dot surface and not a list so let's go ahead and actually fix that that's actually a simple error to fix so uh let's go up here so the error is probably up here we are trying to bleed the enemy onto the screen so we have to say enemy image and then simply get of index uh i okay of index i which you want so let me just see if you're supposed to say index i right there so it's supposed to say index i of that enemy okay so that's basically it uh for this to work yeah so that's basically it but we never passed in i right so this will give us an error so let's go actually pass in i and then let's go and look for where i'm calling this function so i just highlighted it and let me just go where i'm looking for uh this function uh, which is right here so i need to go ahead and pass in i here as well okay so that's basically what i need to do right there so once i have this done now this should be able to work uh, let's go ahead and check it out if it's going to work uh, without getting any errors so we go uh, here we go so we have four enemies so if i shoot down the enemy so now uh it gets uh you get an error so int object is not subscriptable int object is not subscriptable so we probably did an error somewhere on enemy and then i i and then i so we probably have an error right there and it says that uh, int object is not uh, subscriptable so let's go ahead and actually figure out why it's telling us that int object uh, is not subscriptable so here let me try to look at it from this point so i'm going to say enemy uh, enemy image you're getting enemy image one and then in here i'm going to pass in the x and the y and enemy x and the enemy y and enemy x and enemy y uh, are the different values that we pass in here so if i scroll down here uh these are the enemy x and the enemy y that we passed in and then we pass in i so let me just go and see if i have i passed in there i have i passed in here so what's the cause of this error so let's go ahead and see what's the cause of this error it says that int object is not subs subscriptable and your this error is occurring on this line we are saying the enemy uh x 
and we are getting the height index and also the enemy y the height index and that seems to be giving us an error so let's go ahead and see what the error is so I'm just going to scroll down here and try to figure out what the error is right here. Uh, yeah, and the error is right here. I figured out also this is going to be I. Uh, we have to say also here I and also here uh, I because that's uh, now an index, right? So yeah, that's basically that's why we're getting that error because we are trying to respond the enemy, but you don't know we are trying we're using the enemy list object instead of the instead of the the enemy is so like enemy object you not the enemy list object so that's what that's what uh, we are getting that error so once i have this there i'm just going to clear this and simply run the code again and let me just go ahead and try to shoot okay now we don't have that so you can see now whenever you shoot an enemy it responds in a du different area and now we have at er at any time in of the game you have only four enemies on the screen so that's basically it yeah and then we can get our points there so our points are increasing and we shoot an enemy the enemy responds in a new uh, uh, lo location so that's basically it so yeah that's basically it and everything was uh, works as expected this time so yeah yeah so that's all i wanted us to cover in this tutorial uh so now what's left now is to be able to add a bit of sound to our game and all of that so let's we'll learn how to add, add a bit of sound and also how to do an end screen to the maybe you can keep a score to display the enemy score right here and all of that so we're going to cover that in the next next tutorial so if you guys are new to the channel please kindly consider subscribing to the youtube channel liking this video and sharing this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful uh thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one keep safe